Hello YouTubers, I thought I'd show a, thought I'd show a little scanner dive hole I made for my mother real quick. Um, pieces and parts I had laying around, nothing special. Uh, the brackets or I guess conduit brackets or whatever, something my, my uh, dad had bought tons of you know, many years ago and at least now they're getting some use. Um, that's some thin wall aluminum tubing that I found in the garage. Didn't even know I had it. It wasn't a very long joint, so I think I cut two 18-inch pieces. If I shortened it a little bit, it'd probably be uh, tuned for two meters. I think right now it's in one upper 160s low uh, upper 160s low low uh, 170s. Show you on my analyzer, just so you see that. I just got a short piece of just mini eight coax. And like I said, this is for receive, so I'm not real concerned about the readings, to be honest. At 175 megahertz, uh, 1.4, zero reactants, impedance 84. Now she's climbing as I go down. She's up to a 1.7 and the 1.6 is 1.8. Like I said, it's not going to be for transmit. This is just for scan or receive. I thought I'd make everything around here is in the 100 megahertz, you know, basically in the 140. 140s, 160s, I think 170s range, if I remember right. I, I can't remember exact frequencies, but our area has not gone. Yeah, that's the top end of my analyzer. Our area has not gone to uh, any type of trunk system or anything, and probably. You know, other than the state police has, but local agencies probably never will. I, I live in a very economically depressed uh, area of the country, so uh, I think this will work good as a scanner antenna for many years to come because I honestly don't see them switching frequency anytime in the near future. But there you have it. It's going to be mounted on a, a piece of that angle iron stuff you can buy at the hardware store. It's got holes, you know, of various types all, all the way the length of something else my dad bought tons of. He used to homebrew shelving units and stuff out of it. So that's going to be the arm that will come off the tower and I'll mount this on, on the, you know, the arm. Okay. Okay. I, uh, first part of that video clip was from Summer. I, uh, made her little scanner dipole. Here it is winter, it's now January of the new year, and I finally finally have it all done. I got the coax hooked up. Uh, there's tape, there's uh, there's black uh, 3M tape underneath there, and then I put the uh, uh, blue RTV sealant over it. It's just a, like I said, a little, it's just a little dipole. It's my first, ah, first time to make a rigid one like this. It, it turned out okay, I guess. That's just some uh, PVC pipe. I cut a section out of make the insulator. I think I, I explained all that in the earlier video clip. It's been so long since I've made it. I don't think I had it mounted on this uh, on this piece of uh, angle iron. My dad bought tons of this, you know, many years ago when it wasn't so expensive. So that's going to be the arm. There's going to be a couple of U bolts uh, go through the bottom here around the wrong legs of the tower. I'm not gonna put it up super high. It's gonna be, oh, I don't know, probably around 20 feet or a little more. It'd be above the roof line of the house. I felt felt decent today and it's a nice day, so I, I thought I need to get out here and try to get this done. Something I've been, been putting off for a long time. I'm gonna try to get those TV antennas off air today. You know, sometime next year, my ground plane needs to come down. I don't know. I've uh, I make I I like that serial half wave dipole, but I've got some others. I I recently came into a well, I've got an old uh, I got a five eighths wave Radio Shack uh, deluxe collinear, but I've also got uh, an original Avanti Sigma five eighths as well. That's uh, you know was new and was in the air for probably less than a year. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get those TV antennas down. If I got time, I'm gonna try to mount that scanner antenna. Probably, probably somewhere close to the bracket for my uh, random wire antenna. Anyways, that's the update, and I'll shoot a little video if I get it done. 
Well, there it is. Scanner antennas up. I've taken TV antennas off. I even took my ground plane down. Uh, coax. Well, in the process of doing all the rest of this to getting them TV antennas off, I knocked the uh, I knocked the coax loose from the uh, the side mount pole for my dipole, <laughs> which doesn't surprise me because. I use zip ties and I shouldn't have and they've been in the air for you know over a year so the sun had dry rotted them so bad they just broke free so I took the whole thing down good thing I did because uh, I didn't get one joint sealed very well and uh, it was plumb full of water <laughs> and busted actually it split it I guess from last winter so just as well I took it down looks a little better anyways it's all done I didn't do it all the same day. It's a another day, you know, forward. I just got my coax rolled up from from uh, from where the ground plane used to be because it's already run underneath the house. That concludes this project, and yeah, you can see my long wiry antenna, or half of it, anyways. The other half really can't see because it's getting too dark. Anyway, 73s, everybody. Uh, my first homebrew uh, <coughs> homebrew VHF dipole. <laughs> it ain't pretty, but it does at least work.